Hello, welcome, happy Wednesday, happy hurricane gone day, amen? The hurricane is gone, it has passed by us, it's up by Daytona Beach, and it's all gone. Praise God, huh? Hey, look who's here. Say this with me, the rest of my life. The rest of my life. Is the best of my life. Is the best of my life. And the best of my life. And the best of my life. Is the rest of my life. Is the rest of my life. Are you happy the hurricane's gone? I am. I am. Tell the people about your flowers, huh? Oh, okay. There was, you know, uh, in the back of our house we have these. It's like a cactus plant, but it's, it's fluffier than a cactus plant. And um, it grows on the bottom of this palm tree that we have in the backyard. And usually the, the flowers, they'll only last maybe a couple hours at the most. Well, yesterday morning, I woke up and I said, you know what, those flowers are about to bloom. Because you can tell when the buds are getting there and everything. And I thought, I'm going to watch. So there, instead of like a couple of flowers, the whole tree was covered with flowers. And the flowers are like this big. <clears throat> Sometimes the Lord sends us signs. And this is, and to me, this was a sign that everything was going to be okay. You know, because the hurricane is, was coming and everything. And, and the day before that, we went down by the beach and there was a rainbow. And that's always a sign of God's promises for us. So we were at peace with this coming and everything. And the, the um, flowers that are on the cactus, they were, they just bloomed for a couple hours. So I um, took a picture of them. And I took a picture of the rainbow. And we're only going to bloom for a couple hours too. Yeah, because we're here for a, such a time as this. Because our this life is short. So make sure that you bloom we're while here. you're here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're just a little bit giddy right now because the storm is all gone. We're out of danger. And even though we had great faith, we're still relieved. Amen? So glory to God. Don't forget that if you need a prayer answer today, please call me. And also, when you do your donations and offerings today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you at the same time. Amen. Hey, I want to talk to you. Relieved and thankful. Yes, Mary said we're relieved and thankful. Amen. But we knew that storm wasn't coming here because we kept saying it will not come. I said it will. Everybody said, Pastor Jim, I said, it's not coming here. It's not coming. Here. But our whole, this whole town <clears throat> was terrified. I mean, everything was closed here yesterday. The electricity never blinked. Amen. No problems. But everybody was so nervous. Well, we're not. Hey, I want to talk to you today about receiving from God. Jesus told the two blind men, he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. Everything we receive from God, we receive according to faith. <clears throat> notice, <clears throat> notice I didn't say our faith. <clears throat> I didn't say our faith, I said faith. Everything we receive from God, we receive according to faith. I didn't say our faith. I have received things from God from somebody else's faith. Now, it takes faith to receive from God. Everybody is going to receive from God according to faith. Faith. Somebody's faith. Either yours or somebody else's. Now, this is something that I discovered. I have never heard anybody else ever teach about this. But it's right there. Now, some people may have picked it up from me. Maybe some people even got it on their own. I don't know. 
But I'll tell you what, I never heard it. I never heard anybody say anything like that. The prayer of agreement. My our this prayer ministry works solely on the prayer of agreement. That's how it works. Jesus said, again, I say unto you, in Matthew 18, verse 19, again, I say unto you, if two of you shall agree as touching anything that they ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. Anything. Two people. Here's the deal that I discovered. Only one of them needs to have faith. The word agreement the word agreement means to be united. When two people become united, bonded in a prayer, they go to the Lord together. Not separate. Together. They're bonded in that prayer. They're bonded in what they need. They're bonded in asking God. And when they do, one of them needs to have faith. It's like, it's like a car battery. If a car battery won't start a car, there is only one way to start that car. You got to get another battery and hook it up. You got to hook the two batteries together. You've got to bond or unite two batteries. And when you do, the weaker battery will get a jolt from the stronger battery to start the car. And the prayer of agreement works exactly the same way. When you need to receive something from God, hook up with somebody who has the faith to get it for you. I'm telling you what, that's how I get, we have had, the Lord showed me this a few years ago when I looked at, at, at Peter and Acts chapter 3, Peter healed the man at the gate. He said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. And then in verse 16, he said, he said, and faith in the name of Jesus has made this man whole. Well, I was reading that one day. I was home by myself. And I read where, and faith in the name of Jesus has made this man whole. And the Lord spoke to me in an audible voice inside my belly. And I heard this voice inside my belly. And I know that when I hear that voice, that is God talking to me. And that's the only way God talks to me. He talks to me in my belly in an audible voice. And he said to me, who had faith in the name of Jesus? I went, oh my goodness. The Lord God has asked me a question. I didn't want to give him the wrong answer. I knew he wanted an answer. He, with, the, with the way he said it, who had faith in the name of Jesus, he said. I went back and read that story again 10 more times. Read it out loud, looked through it. And finally, I said to him, I said, Lord, only Peter had faith in the name of Jesus. The man at the temple did not. The man at the temple got healed. He didn't have any faith. And the Lord didn't speak to me again, but I knew I was right. When Mary and Jean got home, they could see that I was real excited about something. And I told them what had happened to me, that this experience. And we sat down, the three of us, and we started going through all these people that have been healed who we knew didn't have any faith. And it turns out there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. We could not even remember all their names. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're getting ready to come out with a new book on miracles. A lot of them are listed in that book. That book will be out in a couple of months. A lot of them are listed in that book. But Peter had faith in the name. 
Peter used his faith in the name of Jesus to get that man healed. I use, I do the same thing I have for years. I do the same thing. I use my faith in the name of Jesus to get your prayers answered for you. I use my faith in the name of Jesus to get you healed. I use my faith in the name of Jesus to get your finances increased so you have enough money to pay your bills. You call me today. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove to you that God's word works. God taught me a very valuable lesson. Only one person needs to have faith. I had been operating like that for 30 years and didn't even know it until God showed me. I ask God every day for revelation knowledge. I'm telling you what, you ask God for revelation knowledge, he will light you up. He'll light you up. I mean to tell you, he will light you up. He'll light you up on his word. Glory to God. Was that good today? Please share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know who is sick and broke that they can call me and I'll get it done for them. My faith in the name of Jesus will make it happen for them. Glory to God. Share this with everybody you know. Don't forget to call me if you need a prayer answered. Call me if you need a miracle. Call me whatever you need. You call me and I'll get it for you today. If it's scripture, I'll get it for you. Amen. Glory to God. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to, I want to bless you at the same time. That is scriptural. Glory to God. You have a wonderful day. I love you very much, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.